I like this one better. I'm going to record over here and scoot it over there. So what's up, everybody? It is Thursday. I believe it's Thursday. Let me check. Yes. It's Thursday, the 14th of May. And as always, I hope that everyone who is under the sound of my voice and Melissa Morgan's voice, I, I hope that you are blessed and you are stay, staying safe and um, continue to remain encouraged throughout these unprecedented times. Um, everything that's going on in the world is just such, um, such a burden to deal with. But... I'm not here to discourage you. I'm actually here to talk about um, a subject that um, I talked about over a year ago, but I found the need to talk about it now. I have a friend of mine who has been going through something with a particular female for quite some time. And um, I just wanted to brush off my notes and revisit the topic and maybe help someone out there who may be um, involved with a young lady or a woman and um, you don't quite know where you stand with her because you keep getting mixed signals. So that's what I wanna talk about today. And I did a live stream earlier on one of my newer platforms, but I keep experiencing problems. So I'm not sure what's up with that. So until I get it fixed, I'm willing to put on, put in the work and you know re-record so that I can distribute it over my many platforms so that you guys can get to know me and my woman's perspective on relationships just a little bit better. So what I wanna talk about today is she's just not that into you. You know, we have so many gentlemen, so many men, so many guys, they're throwing their hats and their two cents into the ring these days. And it's much appreciated because a lot of them put us up on game, right? But in comparison to the men, there are very few women in the arena who, by comparison, you know, who are um, able to shed light on women's antics and put you guys on game on when things are not as they should be, you know, with a woman or to let you know when a woman does this, this is what this, that means or whatever. And I know a lot of you guys have siblings, you have sisters, aunties, cousins, play sisters, god sisters, play cousins, homegirls. I know that. But sometimes it doesn't hurt to get a different perspective. And that's what I'm here to do. I am the diva of Diva Speaks Relationships Podcast radio and newly tv so here goes she's just not that into you now what i want you to remember that the things that i'm going to talk about is not an absolute it's just my opinion and i'm going to talk about them in no order of importance just i'm just saying so let me silence Melissa Morgan for a second because I do not own the rights to this music. So what you're hearing is not mine, but I thoroughly enjoy some old school R&B. So the first one on my list for you guys, um, now, again, it's not an absolute. It's just my opinion. And it's, it's a rule of thumb for myself and the women that I know um, or have had dealings with as far as my friendships. So if you have a woman who has no interest in cooking for you whatsoever, you always have to take her out. You have to wine and dine her. And she has expressed no interest in preparing a meal for you. You know, that's a problem. I don't know too many women who don't mind cooking for their man. That's one of the skill sets that we are the most proud of. We love to feed our men. We love to get in the kitchen and prepare a meal with love and to serve you that meal. To watch the expression on your face as you eat our cooking. And you know, it, it gives us bragging rights. Excuse me, my, um, I think my ring light just broke. But anyway, so 
if you have a, you're dealing with someone who you always have to take her out and she's expressed no interest in feeding you or cooking for you, that's a problem. She may not be into you. I mean, or you may not be dealing with a woman um, who can cook. Now, if that's not important to you, then so be it. If it is, I mean, it is what it is, right? So, you know, in that case, I, I have a very good girlfriend in Dallas. She's been like one of my best friends for years. And I can tell you, she can't cook a lick. But one of the things that she she will do is she really enjoys getting in the kitchen. She does. And she doesn't mind preparing a meal for whomever she is dating. Now, that's not to say that you should have those expectations of a woman that you're dealing with or demand that she cooks for you all the time, but definitely a woman that is really into you will not mind preparing a meal for you whatsoever. So if you got one that's not into that and not trying to feed you, she may not be into you like that. So let me move on. The next um, point I want to make is if you have a female you're dealing with and she's hot and cold all the time without rhyme or reason, and you can't understand why she's having these highs and lows with you because your actions have been pretty consistent and you've made your intentions clear. But yet one moment she's all lovey-dovey and the next minute she doesn't want to be bothered with you. Chances are she's really not that into you or she's dealing with another or a few. That's just the way it is. But you guys should know that because you guys do the same thing. I think it works the same with both men and women. So just remember that if a woman is feeling you and something is going on in her life that could possibly change her attitude or the way she interacts with you, if we're feeling you, we don't mind sharing some of the details of what we're going through with you because you are important to us and we don't want to send out the wrong signal you know, or, you know, scare you away or basically push you away. So if you're dealing with a woman who's giving you all of this, the cold shoulder, don't want to be bothered and the, and the next minute, you know, she's all hot and heavy with it. Don't trust it. She's not into you or she wants something from you. And nine times out of 10, it's not consistency or a relationship. But I digress. I'm moving on. The next point I want to emphasize is that you want to be very, um, you know, pay attention to the woman who's always a damsel in distress. You know, uh, aside from the other points that I've made, you get you get a woman that she always has emergency. She always needs help with this or that, you know, like I said, it's an, a sense of urgency. Oh, I need my light bill paid. Oh, this is about to happen. I need help with this. Oh, my car just broke down. I need you to come and do this. Or can you fix this? Or can you fix that? Or I really need help with this. But otherwise, you don't really get a call from her. She's really not that accommodating to you. But she's got her hand out for something. And even if it's not, um, you know, to ask you to fix something or to pay a bill for her, you know, she's asking, you know, to get her hair done or her nails done and she wants, she's not that into you. She's into your pockets and what you can do for her. That's what she wants. And as long as you're willing to play that role, she'll pay you some attention. But the attention span is very limited. So beware. Moving on, my next point I want to make, how to identify when a woman is just not that into you or she has an agenda, I'm wrapping it up, is she doesn't really care about how she carries herself around you or she doesn't care how she looks when she's with you. Now, I know that may sound a little bit shallow or a little bit vain, but I'm not talking about couples that have been together for years or, you know, you have a history together where the two of you are comfortable. You know, it's okay if I just, you know, kind of relax and let my hair down. I don't have to be dolled up for you. It's not about the glitz and the glamour anymore. I'm not talking about those type of relationships because I definitely don't walk around the house looking like this 
when my husband is home. I mean, I'm pretty much chill, I'm relaxed. I'm not like with a face full of makeup. I don't care what I look like at home with hubby. But this is not that. I'm talking about when you're dating, when you are really trying to get to know one another. And you've seen her obviously at her best, but for the majority of the time that you're interacting with her now, it's like she don't give a damn what she look like head all crazy you know what i'm saying she don't care what she's putting on she's just out and about with you let me tell you this a woman that really is into you especially in the initial stages of dating we care about our appearance we're very very meticulous when it comes to how we look when we're really trying to be pleasing to the eye to the man that we really want to get to know a little bit better or establish a relationship with is very important to us you will find very few women who do not care how they look or carry themselves when they're interested in a man. So if you peep that in the woman that you're dealing with, or she doesn't care when you come to her place, if you've been afforded the opportunity to visit her home, she doesn't keep a good, she doesn't care what a house looks like anymore. Maybe the first time you went over there, everything was nice. It was plush. It was clean. You know, it smelled real good. But, you know, these last few times or you've noticed more so lately that she doesn't keep a good house. Things are everywhere. You know, everything's just a mess. She's not into you like that. And she don't really care what you think because she don't plan on keeping you. So, and it means she's not a good housekeeper either. She doesn't keep her house well or she doesn't keep herself up very well. So just to let you guys know, and uh, I'm gonna wrap this up with my final point because this is very, very important and this could be a little bit tricky. A woman that is into you, if you're with someone, you're sweet on her, she's, she's fine, she's, you know, visually appeasing, she's eye candy, she seems to be pleasant, she seems to be what you want for the most part, you, what you want. But she doesn't want to show you affection. She doesn't want to show you affection. She avoids intimacy and definitely sex is either a no-no or is few, far, and in between. She comes up with excuses. She's just not that into you. And when I say, what I said earlier about it being tricky, what I meant by that is I know for a fact that um, a, lot of, um, a lot of women today are practicing abstinence for several reasons. And religion being the number one reason, a lot of women are wanting to practice ab abstinence and wait until they get married to resume having um, sexual intercourse. I respect that. It's your body. You do what the hell you want to do with it. I have no say so in that. Neither does any man. However, a lot of women that are playing the game are using that as a reason not to sleep with you, to avoid the intimacy, but to still get what they want out of you. On one hand, I'm serving you. I'm the religious, oh so wholesome, you know, woman that you should really be spending your coins on and spending time with. But then on the other hand, I don't have to give you anything. You don't have to touch my body and it is what it is, you know? So you might wanna be careful with that. I'm not promoting fornication. I'm not promoting being sexually promiscuous, but I can tell you this, when we are into you, we want to be touched. We want to be intimate with you. We want to be affectionate. That is just how we are, especially when we're sexually attracted to you and when we see a future with you. Or if we want to get to know you a little bit better. We like what we see. We like being under you. And before I go, let me, let me double back to this. If you find yourself constantly having to dial or ring up, text, or reach out for her to try to make plans, and her calendar's always full, she's always busy. She's not that into you, boo. Cause I've once heard it said, there's no, what is it? It goes, um, there's nobody busier than a person who's not interested in you. We make time for what we want, just like you men. I don't care how career driven you are, how many choir practices you've signed up for, how many extracurricular activities you, you are engaged in, how many children you are rearing, how many part-time jobs you have in addition to your primary place of employment. 
We women have always been multitaskers and we have a unique way to make it happen when we want it to happen. So if you have yourself a woman who's just not interested in making the time for you or reaching out to you or just trying to find out, hey, when is the next time I'm gonna be able to see you? I miss you. If you don't get any of that or that's few far and in between or you're the one that's doing all of that, she's not that into you. So. That's just some of my jewels that I like to talk about on my podcast. You guys are going to see a lot of me talking about my podcast um, because I am really trying to push it and promote it along with the radio show and the new um, TV channel that I have. So if you haven't subscribed to my podcast and you want to check it out, I have... I'm everywhere. Diva Speaks, that's one word now. Diva Speaks, relationships. You can find it anywhere you listen to podcasts. Now, do not separate Diva and Speaks. You're going to get somebody else. They're not going to be as fabulous. You're going to be disappointed, and you're never going to want to listen to it again. So remember, Diva Speaks is one word. You can find me on Apple, um, iTunes, iHeartRadio, Spotify, iCloud, YouTube, um, tune in, mix cloud. I mean, I could go on and on. I'm not bragging. I'm just toot toot beep beep. But anyway, so with all of that being said, be sure to check me out. And until the next time, just remember what we've talked about today. And if it doesn't benefit you, pass it along to a friend. You could save them a lot of time and heartbreak. Talk to you later.